feeling disconnected from your family lately due to COVID? Do you miss interacting and being able to meet with one another in person? Isn't music and food better when you're around people you care about? Well, we have the perfect solution to your problem. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Gleason Pyrus. And my name is Kaylin Johnson. And we're here to present to you Savory, savory sounds. sounds. You're probably wondering, what is Savory Sounds? Well, Savory Sounds is a platform where you're able to hold virtual events where people can come together as a community and listen to music together that brings you life and food that spices up your life. Let me introduce you to our client. Our client name is Nico. He's a 25 year old man who lives in California and he works for Bill and he's DJs on the side. And during this time, he has voiced that he wasn't able to find any DJ gigs and events due to COVID and feeling very disconnected from his community. He mentioned he misses going out to restaurants and being at cookouts, and that is what we plan to focus on. Bringing food and music together for you at home. Considering these things, we created the perfect solution, Savory Sounds. Savory Sounds is a platform that brings communities together through food and music. Savory Sounds hosts chefs, professionals, or amateurs, and DJs that bring Savory Sounds to people at home. When people sign up for an event, they're joined by videos such as Zoom. Chefs demonstrate the cooking process and the people at home follow along with the music from the musicians playing in the background. People can buy ingredients, packages directly from the platform ahead of time and have it delivered to them in time for the start of the event. Every event also celebrates a certain culture, so the meal and the music represents that culture. For example, if the chef is cooking something from France, then the musician would have some French music playing in the background. People can also make requests for certain cultures and the platform helps organize each event. People can use the chat to ask questions to the chef, the musician and each other and to learn more or get help cooking. Once the food is done, everyone can stay in Zoom and show their creations, eat and chat with one another and play cultural trivia while the musicians keep performing for the entertainment of the people. As soon as you enter the platform, you are placed on the home page. On the home page, you can view the events created by us in your region coming up. You also get alerts and reminders for any events you sign up for. You can access other pages through the homepage. Calendar and shop are the featured pages on our site. In calendar, you can view the date of the event and who is going to be the chef, musician slash DJ, and the food that is going to be prepared that certain day. In the calendar, we also provide a way for you to sign up for certain events on different dates. You also can enter your scheduled events through that calendar page. We understand that times are tough right now, and we wanted to make it easier for our customers to reach everything without it being complicated, because we don't want to confuse where you have to go on the day of your scheduled event. People can participate in events by paying for them one at a time or buying a subscription that allows them to join several events over time. The fees cover the cost of the musicians and chefs so that they may be compensated for their work and the food if the ingredients are brought through the site. Our target market are adults ages 18 and up who have been busy and disconnected from their families and friends during this pandemic and just want to reconnect and have an easy, safe way to socialize with each other since we are all limited being out in the public. What I've learned from this project is that not all people are happy and satisfied with being at home. With all these guidelines and rules in place to keep us safe from this virus is disconnecting and ruining friendships of all sorts because we can't see each other and I can deeply connect to that. I also learned that a lot of people, not just me, love food and music. And that is a key idea people use to connect people because food and music bring people together. It took a lot of communication between me and my group to come up with the right solutions to our customers' problem. We brainstormed a lot of ideas and we settled on the right ones. We were trying to recreate a real, personal, and vibrant atmosphere of a restaurant, and it came out to be good. And that is why it's always good to take risks, because you never know what you get out of it. Since we can't communicate in person like we used to, it was a lot harder to share our ideas. Although it was hard, we still were able to get our ideas understood. It was very important for us to be able to coordinate our collaboration. Everyone had a specific job to do, whether it was editing the script or fixing the website. I learned that the pandemic has taken a large toll on people's mental health, especially since we can't go out with our friends and loved ones like we used to. It causes us to disconnect. But through this project, I've learned that food and music bring people together. And during this time, that's very important. Savory Sounds is a one in a million, connecting friends and family during this pandemic through food and music. 
really the only thing I need in my life. We've all been disconnected from my families and friends, and we just wanted to create a safe place where you could interact with each other in fun ways. We are Savory Sounds, where music tastes good. Thank you for your time.